Nasser Al Ajmi. There you are. Greetings. Thank you, sir. Last year I was sitting next to uh, General James Jones, and he knew I was a military man. He asked me, Where do you serve? I said, does it storm? He said, where? I said, 2nd Marine Division. He said, I was there. I was the commander of that unit. So after 20 years, he gave me the Marines Medal. Ooh. During that time, I think uh, liberating Kuwait was a genuine American value. Now America is creating new values like counterterrorism. And today, he added a new thing and stopping illegal immigration. Uh, my question is, Trump mentioned Americanism instead of globalism. Uh, he mentioned no free military uh, umbrella for allies, a new military doctrine. Uh, do, do you see Trump as the new Mikhail Gorbachev with, with, with the Prostorica as at least in, 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 in military? Do you see the decline of, of the U.S.? at least in military or, or its role in the world? I have Thank to say you. I didn't expect this question. It's a very interesting one. Do you see Donald Trump as the Gorbachev in perestroika leading to the downfall uh, of the United States? John. No. No. <laughs> uh, we're, we're going through a moment uh, not dissimilar to other moments we've seen in American history where our economy is not healthy, uh, where there are concerns among the American people about our overextension abroad. Mm -hmm. And it's a correction moment uh, where so long as we are based on the principles of our Constitution, a commitment to rule of law, uh, and a sense of equality, one for all, which is something that has to be worked on constantly in the United States, I think this is a, a corrective moment uh, and I wouldn't put it as sweeping as a Gorbachev <laughs> in, in the Soviet Union uh, by, by any sense, because we still have those checks and balances where Gorbachev had no checks and balances. He was in dire straits uh, economically, overburdened on the defense side uh, with fewer and fewer friends in the world. I think we still maintain a robust network of friends and allies, and I suspect that Trump, when he speaks more, and this is only my hunch, uh, will talk more about the importance of those relationships mm -hmm. with friends and allies. We haven't heard the, right. the fullness of that language, but I'm guessing mm -hmm. we'll hear more of it. Uh, so let's let a little more time pass before Gen we General, make judgments. General, quick, quick reaction? Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't see him as a, as a Gorbachev, and I think the, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, but um, uh, I, I agree with uh, Governor Huntsman. I think this is a, a defining moment in our history, um, and, and we'll just have to wait and see a little bit. But I, I, I don't think it's, um, I, I, my interpretation of his campaign rhetoric is, was he wants to, he wants to re, re, retool the American uh, model, if you will. I, I heard him say that he wants to enhance the Defense Department, enhance the, the military. And if that's the case, then you know, what are you going to do with it? Um, so if you're going to use it to be proactively engaged to prevent future conflicts, which, uh, which is what, what I would think would be a good idea, uh, in cooperation with our friends and allies around the world and rebuild those relationships and trust, then I think we have a good shot. But I think uh, it's too early to tell yet. I agree.